everyone? It's your girl Shay here and I'm back with another video for you guys. And in this video, I'm going to be reviewing another anime and the anime is going to be Kino's Journey, A Beautiful World. And this is basically a remake of the 2003 version of Kino's Journey, A Beautiful World. And I ended up watching this show when I was on the podcast. It's in season. It was one of the three animes that we chose. And I kind of like this series. The series is pretty much about a young girl by the name of Kino who is traveling the world on her anamorphic motorcycle by the name of Hermes. H-E-R-M-E-S. Uh, -E That's how it's spelled. And basically she travels the world staying in no country any longer than three days. Basically you see her come upon these different countries and experience things like sadness, happiness, and just all these different trials and tribulations that go on in these countries. Some countries she enjoys a lot, some countries she doesn't enjoy that much at all, but along the way it's just interesting to see the journeys that she pretty much goes on. At first when I started watching this series, I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I was, just because I had never heard of Kino's journey in the first place. I was just like, I don't know what this show is about, but I don't mind trying it out and seeing what it's like. So at first, I wasn't as interested in the episodes, but as the story went along, some of the countries I started to really, really enjoy, and some of them I really kind of wish they were kind of real. Not only that, but it was interesting to learn a lot more about Kino and towards the end you also learn of her backstory and how she decided to start traveling. In some ways I was kind of a little bit confused because once again I hadn't heard of Kino before so I wasn't too familiar with the story. But it kind of got a little bit easier for me to follow along. One of the things that kind of made me start liking this series a lot more was because it was very reminiscent, to me at least, of the anime Mushishi. The reason why I say it's very similar to that is because each episode doesn't lead into the previous one. Each episode is its own standalone episode, so you don't have to worry about, you know, any continuations or, or things like that. It's just really each episode is just its own, basically, own individual story. So I was very much like, oh, this is very similar to Mushishi, which actually, once I came upon that realization, it made it a lot easier to watch the series because I understood a little bit more as far as what the journey was taking us on, what Kino was taking us on. So if you're someone who's a, a fan of shows like that, I'd probably say you might enjoy watching this series a lot. One thing that I just set it apart from Mushishi is that it's not as soft spoken and it doesn't involve any like crazy, you know, characters or any crazy like little monsters, which is what Mushishi is kind of pretty much about. It's basically about Kino learning about these different countries and things that they do differently and also meeting a crazy, not a crazy host of characters, but just meeting these different characters along the way. And it was interesting to see her perspective. There is some, um, just to let you guys know, there is some like shooting in it, there's like guns and stuff, so if you're not a huge fan of violence, I wouldn't recommend, you know, watching certain parts of the series, not anything too crazy to be honest, I've seen a lot worse, so don't worry, worry too much about that. But overall, I really want to say, if you haven't heard of Kino Journey, definitely give it a shot. I feel like overall, I have to give this anime about a 7 out of 10. Just because of the fact I really started to enjoy it towards the end and it's very reminiscent to me, like I said before, of Mushishi and I absolutely loved Mushishi. If you are interested in checking out this series, I actually watched it on Crunchyroll so it is streaming on there so definitely feel free to check it out if you haven't already. It's about 12 episodes long so it's a fairly short series so you can definitely finish it either in a day or even in a couple of days if you want to space it out. But yeah, it, you don't have to worry about spending such a long time watching this series. So if you're so once again if you're interested in checking it out, watch it on Crunchyroll.com. All right, you guys, that is my review of this series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, comment down below and let me know what you thought of it. If you've already watched it, if you haven't watched it, are you interested in watching this series? And like always, I leave links down in the description box below of all my social media accounts. So definitely check me out on there if you haven't already. On my Instagram, my Twitter, and also on my blog as well. 
and I will have a new video out for you guys soon. And like always, if you're liking my videos and if you're watching this video and you want to see more, subscribe and like those videos. And also click the blue bell down below so that you're notified whenever I come out with new videos, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Right, you guys, I have a new video out for you guys on Saturdays. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.